4 and 5 digit multiplication. We've seen Urdhvatiryakpyam, also known as Tatstha multiplication, for up to 3 digits. Can we use the same technique for numbers more than 3 digits? Yes, we can. Let's look at patterns for 4 digit multiplication. As with 3 digits, the first pattern is a multiplication of the last digits, the second is a cross multiplication of the last two, and the third is a cross multiplication of the last three digits. The fourth pattern is a cross multiplication of all four digits, and the fifth is a cross multiplication of the first three digits, the sixth is a cross multiplication of the first two, and the last pattern is a multiplication of the first digits. An example will make this a little clearer. The first partial product here is 5 times 2, that is 10. We retain 0 as a digit of the answer and 1 becomes the carry. The second partial product is a cross multiplication of the last two digits, which is 11. We add the previous carry to get 12. We retain 2 as a digit of the answer and 1 becomes the next carry. The third partial product is a cross multiplication of the last three digits, which is 26. We add the previous carry to get 27. 7 is retained as a digit of the answer and 2 becomes the next carry. The next partial product, the fourth, is a cross multiplication of all digits. That gives us 37. We add 2, the previous carry, to get 39. We retain 9 and 3 becomes the next carry. The next, the fifth partial product, is a cross multiplication of the first three digits, which is 26 plus the previous carry is 29, we retain 9, and 2 becomes the next carry. The sixth partial product is 4 times 4 plus 3 times 2, which is 22, plus the previous carry is 24, we retain 4, and 2 becomes the next carry. The final part of the answer is 4 times 2, the seventh partial product, we add the previous carry, which gives us 10, which we retain as the rest of the answer. And thus, we have accomplished a four-digit multiplication. Another example, 3457 times 6312. The first partial product is 7 times 2. We retain 4 as a digit of the answer, and 1 becomes the next carry. The second partial product is 5 times 2 plus 7 times 1. We add the previous carry. We retain 8 as a digit of the answer and 1 becomes the next carry. The third partial product is a cross multiplication of 3 digits, 34. We add the previous carry to get 35. We retain 5 as a digit of the answer and 3 becomes the next carry. The fourth partial product is a cross multiplication of all digits, 67, plus the previous carry gives us 70. We retain 0 as a digit of the answer, and 7 becomes the next carry. The fifth partial product is a cross multiplication of the first three digits, which gives us 45. We add the previous carry, it gives us 52. We retain 2 as a digit of the answer, and 5 becomes the next carry. The next partial product is 6 times 4 plus 3 times 3. We add 5 to the previous carry to get 38. We retain 8 as a digit of the answer, and 3 becomes the next carry. The final partial product is 3 times 6. We add the previous carry to get 21 and we retain that as the rest of the answer. And again, we have accomplished a four-digit multiplication. 
Now, can we do this with five digits? Yes, of course we can. The first partial product is a multiplication of the final two digits, then a cross multiplication of the final two digits, then a cross multiplication of the last three digits, then four, then a cross multiplication of all the digits, then a cross multiplication of the first four digits, then a cross multiplication of the first three digits, then a cross multiplication of the first two digits, and finally a product of the first digits. Let's look at an example. The first partial product here is 5 times 6, 30, we retain 0 and carry 3. The second partial product is a cross multiplication, which gives us 49. We add the previous carry to get 52, we retain 2 and carry 5. The third partial product is a cross multiplication of the last three digits, which gives us 58 and the previous carry, and we retain 3 as a digit of the answer and carry 6. The next partial product is a cross multiplication of the last four digits, which gives us 78. We add the previous carry to get 84, we retain 4 as a digit and carry 8. The next partial product is a cross multiplication of all the digits, which gives us 96. We add 8, the previous carry, get 104. We retain 4 and 10 becomes the next carry. The sixth partial product is a cross multiplication of the first four digits, which gives us 66. We add the previous carry, we retain 6 as a digit of the answer, and 7 becomes the next carry. The seventh partial product is a cross multiplication of the first three digits, which is 42, adding the previous carry, we get 49, we retain 9, and carry 4. The next partial product is a cross multiplication of the first two digits. 7 times 1 plus 8 times 2 is 23. We can add the previous carry to get 27. We retain 7 and carry 2. The final partial product is 8 times 1 plus the previous carry, which is 2, which is 10. And we retain 10 as the rest of the answer. And thus, we have accomplished a five-digit multiplication using Urdhva Thiriyak Pyam. With practice, four- and five-digit multiplications, just like three-digit multiplication, can be done mostly mentally. Aim to write down just the answer digits and note the carries below and to the left. This means multiplication happens in a single line. These patterns can be extended to any number of digits using the same logic, which means that numbers of any size can be multiplied this way.